guys! Welcome back to another plan with me. It's been like a month. So, if you guys don't know who I am, my name is Eileen. I go by the name Chaotic Mom on YouTube. And I have been missing in action for a very long time. Um, so, I have a planner here that I made. This is nothing more than a composition notebook that I got at the Dollar Tree. And I made a planner out of it. This is my January spread. That's the last spread that I did because I've been missing in action. I usually do a weekly plan with me video. However, um, life's been kind of tough the last couple months. So here I am in March. So we are going to be planning for the first week of March 2020. So before we get into the goodness of all this, I am just going to say that I have missed you guys a lot. And I've talked to some of you guys on Facebook and on Instagram. Hold that thought. I got to go grab my phone. Okay, sorry about that. That was my husband. Had to talk to him. So anyway, I don't even remember what I was saying. Um, wow. I don't remember what I was saying. So I'll just go from here. So, normally I do a plan with me every week, but like I said, haven't done one since January. So, it has been a while since I've done a plan with me. I have had all sorts of crazy things going on, but I need to get back to this. This is what keeps my life all together. Um, maybe I was telling you about my composition notebook. <laughs> so, I'm going to link the video below where I made this composition notebook. Um, it has a nice little pocket up front here. I just have this beautiful little reminder, live your life with flowers. And then I have the front page that's beautiful here and then the beginning here. So we are in the month of March. Here's all my blank pages for February that I never did anything with. That's okay though, we're moving on. We are in March. So. I have some exciting new toys that my friend Shauna sent to me. She sent me a, what are they called? Big Shots, I think they're called. Um, they are the die cutting machines that you, um, you put the die cutting, um, you put the piece of paper and then you put the die cut, the little plates over them and then you roll them through the thing. I believe it's called a Big Shot or something like that. And she also sent me this little package called Rock and Roll. So it has got these little headphones, this little word rock, and then it has got, these are so cute, I love them. Uh, this heart is actually from another set that she sent me. This was a um, Project Life card making kit. That was pretty cool. Um, it has got these Aren't they cute? Little vinyls. So I made some of those. And then it's got little cassette tapes. They're freaking adorable. Look at them. Aren't they gorgeous? So I got some of those. And then it has some notes. Some music notes. And is that it? Yes, that's it. Yep. And then I just made some more finals, hearts, all this stuff. So I went ahead and cut out a whole bunch of those and I'm going to be using those for my March spread. And the paper that I'm using is from one of my um, paper pads. I've got some scraps here that I'm going to use. And these are some of the like Project Life cards that I cut out using the die cut machine also. So thank you, Shauna. I'm loving this machine. I'm having so much fun with it. Me and Hannah are using it. We're just messing around with it like crazy. 
And then I have some washi tape, just some fun colors that go with the colors of the paper. So I'm gonna throw this in here real quick. I've been fiddling around with making a traveler's notebook. And this is from this paper collection. I've got some cutouts here. And then I have, this is going up on my Etsy shop this week. Got a little gold paper clip, gold bow paper clip. And it's got three of these um, notebooks. It's got a little folder here. Look at how pretty this paper is. Isn't it pretty? I love all the colors in it. It's got a page marker and they each have a pocket on each side of the page marker. And then the third very pretty. So this is going to be going up on my Etsy store this week. I love it. All these little cutouts come with it. Plenty of room to take notes. Um, you know, keep your appointments. Whatever you need to do this spring. And it's so springy. Look at these colors, and I love the gold accents on them. That one I made. So, that is going up in the Etsy store this week. So anyway, I had plenty of leftover paper after making this beauty, so I thought, you know what? That is what my March spread is gonna be. So here we are. Let's get to getting. I didn't know if you guys wanted me to talk through this or just play some music, so we're gonna do a little bit of both. So I will start by chatting with you guys. Um, I think the last time that I talked to you guys, I had just gone through some testing to see um, what was going on with me? Um, if you've been following me for a little while, you'll know that the beginning of this year, I was having some health issues. I didn't know what was going on. Um, I became very lethargic and just when I mean when I say lethargic, I mean lethargic. Like I could not move. I was sleeping like hours and hours at a time. Um, for the most part, that has gone away. Uh, like yesterday was Sunday, and I did like need a nap. Um, about 1.30, I kind of faded a little bit, and I had to take a nap. But for the most part, I can stay awake. Uh, pretty much all day. I stayed awake all day Saturday, which is a big thing for me. Uh, so that has been really, really nice to be able to, I know it seems really silly for me to be like, yeah, it's so nice for me to be able to stay awake during the day, but you guys, if you like have like I don't even know what to call it. All right, so if you guys have ever had like true like lethargy where you're like just so tired you can't even function, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, so being able to stay awake for most of the day is a big deal. So it was really nice Saturday to be able to spend time with the family and not sleep my day away. So anyway, um, I got tested for all these autoimmune diseases because my ANA was positive and we have a really strong family history of autoimmune disease. Like my sisters are ate up with autoimmune disease. So my lupus and RA and 
All that stuff came back negative. Yay! No lupus for me. Um, the one thing that did come back, which is really weird, I guess, uh, it came back that I have Hashimoto's, which is a, um, it's an autoimmune disease that affects your thyroid. But here's the crazy part. Like, y'all, I had my thyroid killed off two years ago because, or no, a year, year and a half ago because they said I had Graves disease. So I'm really confused about that. I'm on levothyroxine because um, I don't have thyroid function anymore. So that really confuses me. I don't understand how I can have Hashimoto's. Like they said that they found the, the you know, the antibody for Hashimoto's when they did my screening. But how do you have Hashimoto's disease if your thyroid's been killed off? Like, how does that, how does that work? How, so I have antibodies for Hashimoto's, but what is it doing if I don't have a thyroid? Or my thyroid's killed off? Like, what are those antibodies doing? Like, what are they affecting if I got my thyroid killed off? They shouldn't be affecting anything, right? I mean, am I right? I'm asking. So I guess I need to make an appointment with my doctor because that, it was a nurse that gave me results over the phone, which that's my next question. When did we all of a sudden start getting results of lab work over the phone and then just ending with, okay, have a great day, bye. Um, it's a good thing I know what Hashimoto's is because my sister and my dad have it, so I know what the word Hashimoto's is. But if I didn't know what the word Hashimoto's is and somebody just called me and said, oh, you have Hashimoto's, okay, have a great day, bye. Um, okie dokie. Like, uh, as far as I'm concerned, that's not okay. And so my RA was the one that called me, my, my, not my RA, my rheumatologist was the one that called, my rheumatologist office is the one that called me and the, they said that. So I'm going to call my primary care physician and just be like, okay, so what is me having the Hashimoto's antibody? Like, what does that mean? Does it mean nothing now that I don't have a thyroid because I got it killed off? Like, I don't understand. So, um, long story short, I'm just trying my best, y'all. I am just here trying my best. I am trying to decide how to best make myself feel better. Um, like I like that. I don't really like that either. Um, so, like, I've been walking Usually every other day, I get out there and walk, and I try to do a brisk walk. Um, one day last week, it was nasty out, and so instead of not walking at all, I got in the car, and I went across the bridge to the mall so I could walk the mall um, and get my steps in, so I was quite proud of myself for that. Instead of just calling it, oh, no, the weather's not cooperating. I can't do it. Um, and then, that doesn't make sense. And then, um, I've just been really trying to focus on getting my exercise in every day. No matter, um, every other day, no matter what. So... Um, I would like to get it to every every day, but right now I just need to take it slow and um, just do the best I can with where I'm at. And right now I'm at every other day. I was doing the Couch to K to 5K app. Couch to 5K app. Is that right? Yeah. I was doing that, but honestly, I'm not even there yet, you guys. Because I was on day one for like the first week, and then I was like, you know what? I'm not even... Like I can't even complete this. So then I felt like kind of a loser. So I don't, I didn't want to feel like that. 
So then I was like, you know what, I'm not even gonna do this app because instead of making me feel strong and empowered, it was actually making me feel weak. And I was feeling like a loser because I couldn't finish it. So as soon as I started feeling negative thoughts about it, I was like, nope, not doing this because the whole idea of you know working out is to make myself feel better, not make myself feel worse about myself. So, um, yeah, so I stopped doing the couch to 5K. You know, that hopefully I'm going to get there soon. Hopefully I'll be able to do the, um, the full walk. But right now, I'm just not, that's not where my exercise level is. And that is okay. It's just not where I am right now. So, these are so cute. So I'm just doing the best I can and I'm trying to walk, like I said, every other day and get my body moving. And then I've been doing keto for like the last three days, which has been really good. But other than that, I've just been trying to watch what I eat because I know that I need to lose weight. That's of course the thing. That's always been a thing with me. Um, but yeah, uh, we have one body. I guess we better take care of it. So that is my story. Um, all the tests came back negative except for the thyroid issues that I have. I have lost a massive amount of hair. Huge. Like more than half of my hair is gone. So that's been kind of hard to deal with. It's been... Um, It's been frustrating because uh, nobody, first of all, nobody wants to lose their hair. And second of all, you don't know how to do your hair when it's thin and sparse when you're used to having so much hair. Like you don't know how to do it. And so I have to come up with all these new ways to do my hair because it's just not what it used to be. And so um, that's been new for me. And... I just, I, it, it feels different when you're getting up and doing your, you know, your hair and your makeup and like you're losing your hair. It just feels different. Um, you don't feel the same. Whoopsie. I just ran my fingers through my hair and it's all coming out. Um, but it's okay. It's, it's, I know it's going to grow back. I've went through this before with thyroid issues. So I assume it's the thyroid that's doing it. Now that all my tests have come back, I assume it's the thyroid that's doing it, but um, hopefully it'll come back just as, you know, as thick as it did before. Um, so that's that. But as far as videos have gone, I'm gonna play around with this while I talk to you. So as far as videos have gone, so here's what's happening. I have made probably three videos in the past two weeks. I've made probably three videos. I don't like any of them. As a matter of fact, I erased all of them today off of my iPad. Um, one of them was a painting video. I painted a um, composition notebook. One of them was a cleaning video. I had mentioned that in my last video that I had a cleaning video coming for you. Yeah, I erased it. I didn't like it. Um, I had only cleaned half of what I planned on cleaning, so it wasn't even like done. And then, what was the third one? The third one I think was a crafting video. I don't even remember what I made. Oh, I remember what, I made these little envelopes right here even though they're cute. It just didn't, it didn't turn out the way that I wanted it to. I had planned to put them all together with this cute little string and it just didn't turn out the way that I wanted it to. So, um, I erased all of them. So this is going to be like my new week where I'm just starting out fresh. I erased all the videos that I don't like. I'm starting over. I'm starting fresh. So this is my plan with me Monday. I do have some spring DIY decor that I got from the Dollar Tree that I would love to share with you guys for my um, tiered tray that I have in my kitchen. 
That one I would love to do this week and get up for you. Ooh, that's cute. Lots so cute. I like these headphones. They're really thin though. That is cute though. Um, so I would like to get that up this week. And then I don't know what else. I'm not sure what else to do. So it's not that I haven't wanted to do videos. I think I've been A, really uninspired. Um I haven't really liked the content that I've already pre-recorded. And I think I just lost my oomph for a while. You know what I mean? You know how when you're sick, you just kind of like lose your oomph. And I think that's what happened. I just lost my oomph. So I'm hoping, ooh, where did you come from? So I'm hoping that getting back into planning, which is oh so important in my life. Planning is so important for me. I've said that so many times. I'm hoping that getting back into planning is gonna give me my oomph back. Because, y'all, I love my YouTube channel. I really do. I love hanging out with you guys. I love talking to you guys. I love all of it. And lately, I've just been so blah. I haven't wanted to do anything. And I don't like that. Like, I've been taking care of the kids, and I've been cleaning the house, and, like, that's it. That's all I've been doing. I haven't been doing nothing as far as, like, crafting. This little thing right here, I think, was, like, the first. No, I did make some notebooks that I sold a couple weeks ago. I did make those. I have some junk journals here that I've made. So I'm just now getting back into the crafting, but for a while there, I wasn't back at this desk at all. And let me tell you, it didn't feel right. <laughs> it did not feel right at all not to be back at this desk. I felt like a part of me was missing. I felt like a part of me was missing. So I'm gonna put you guys on fast forward now, and we're gonna finish decorating this thing.
So let me know how many of you guys are going to be spring cleaning. Do you have like a big spring cleaning weekend or do you do a couple days here and there or how do you spring clean your house? For us, I think that we just pretty much keep up with spring cleaning all year long. I don't think we really do like one big day. I will say that we do open the house and tend to get like in little nooks and crannies a little bit more during the spring because it's so cold here. But tell me how you guys do your spring cleaning. It's Hannah's birthday month. Her birthday is on March 10th, so we're going to be celebrating her all month long. Happy birthday, Hannah. She's going to be 11. Okay, so here is our March spread, and we are going to move on to our weekly spread now. So again, we're going for Sunday the 1st through Saturday the 7th. And for our weekly spread, we are going to use all Dollar Tree stickers. I am going to dip into my stamps a little bit and my washi tape, but as for the stickers, they're going to be all Dollar Tree. And I might even go into my sticker stash over here, but I promise you, I'm only going to choose Dollar Tree stickers. guys. Hannah. Making her appearance. I mean, obviously. I mean, obviously. Okay, I found it. This is the one I want to use. I did find this at Dollar Tree at one point. It's the Crafter Square. We don't ever get this stuff, and this is so cute, and I found it one time at our Dollar Tree. So if you guys get this Crafter Square stickers, they are freaking adorable and it looks very springy to me because people are venturing out of their house from the winter they got their uh, galoshes on they're trying to travel I don't know about Paris uh, New York uh, that's quite a bit up north for me I'm not going that far yet it's still really cold up there but yes this is very springy to me so this is what we're using
This is just a very inexpensive stamp set I got from Amazon at the beginning of the year and I use it all the time and this is just um, Memento Tuxedo Black ink and I absolutely love these stamps. They come in handy instead of having to buy the um, Days of the Week stickers. I just love using this stamp set for my planning. I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me meant to be in the great outdoor forever free
Hey guys, so this is this week's spread. I always leave the last half of my week pretty light in case I need to move this stuff to the end of the week. Um, I use my little post-it notes here. I started that um, in my last plan with me. Um, I think that it is a great idea to use these little post-it notes because that way um, say I didn't get my plan with me done. Say I didn't get Hannah's homeschool planning done. I move it right to the next day. See how easy that is? There's no erasing. Say I needed to reschedule this appointment. Instead of crossing it out, I take it and I just move it to the week that I move it to. So that is why I love these post-it notes. Um, it allows me to change things around. Uh, move them up, move them down, wherever I need to put them. And I don't have a whole bunch of scribble on my pages and it gives me flexibility within my week. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you are not subscribed to Chaotic Mom, hit that subscribe button. I have tons of videos, you guys. I've been doing YouTube for the last two years. I have tons of videos um, that I've already recorded tons of plan with me. I've gone through different planners. I've done composition notebooks. I've done three ring binders. I've done um, other type of uh, metal binding systems. I've done them all. So just uh, go in my archives and pick some videos for yourself. I've got cleaning videos. I've got some uh, craft with me videos. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.